We're on board our small survey vessel, the White Ribbon. Uh, she's about eight meters long. Uh, she weighs about three tons. Uh, she's equipped with two powerful engines. Uh, it's a small vessel. We're able to look at the nearshore areas around the UK, an area where uh, on our geological maps was white, and we always called this the White Ribbon. So we gave the boat the name the White Ribbon uh, because she was mainly going to be working in, in that area. Okay, Nick, if you just go up ahead to the right there, and then we'll uh, swing round and take some survey lines down the centre of the channel. What we have here is the uh, a multi-beam echo sounder. What this does for us is to collect data from the seabed. We can build up a, an image much the same way that you can uh, build up an image of the land sur surface using aerial photography. We also can get information about the, uh, the texture of the seabed. Uh, and what we will do is we will go up and down the channel, we call it mowing the lawn, we'll overlap each line so that we build up an image of the, the seafloor in the Firth of Forth here. The advantage of having a vessel like this to us is that it's very flexible. We can take her out to sea at relatively short notice, it doesn't take as much time to, uh, to deploy her. Um, and we also, during the winter months, we're hoping to be able to use her in, in the Scottish locks and uh, the lakes in England so that we're working all the year round acquiring uh, geological information. Through this software you control everything to do with the multi beam. So what we're seeing here is um, a waterfall display which directly shows what's beneath us. As we head in towards shore, into the shallow water, you'll see the colours change from the bluey purple that we're seeing around here and it'll gradually get into lighter yellows and as we get really close to shore it'll go into reds as you see in there. The information we collect from the seafloor is of value to uh, many many different users of uh, the marine environment such as uh, conservation of areas of the seabed, the fisheries uh, industry, the oil and gas industry, uh, the renewables industry uh, who are now uh, building wind farms off the coast of the UK and uh, they're all equally important to uh, understand uh, exactly what's going on down there on the, on the sea floor. Since we've acquired the system uh, we've had a lot of interest from uh, organisations such as the Scottish Environment Protection Agency. Um, we're also working with universities uh, who are interested in uh, better understanding of uh, climate change, which you can get from getting uh, the multi-beam data from the seafloor uh, supplemented by core information. She's, she's quite unique really, there aren't very many survey vessels in the UK uh, like this that has uh, uh, the, the array of equipment that we're able to deploy. It's very important for us to uh, build up our knowledge of the seabed. Uh, it's very important that we do that by collaborating with other marine organisations and industry to make sure that we derive maximum benefit from the kind of uh, environmental data that we're able to collect using a facility like the White Ribbon.